going to press the middle button. And then now we, between auto mix and between our settings, we have this Shazam symbol. So that's one way to access it. Another way, which is kind of hidden, is if you go over here to the music select button and we hold it in, you don't just tap it. If you tap it, you'll get to the regular regular screen. But if you hold it in, just like you were going to use the hidden feature to get the scratch tool, now we can do Shazam. So that that's the two ways how we're going to access it. So now all you have to do is go to Shazam, press it, and there we... Oh, no, we don't go. This is what's been bothering me for the past like 45 minutes. I've been trying to figure out what this means. It says, current audio setup not supported. Please disconnect external audio device so Shazam can use the built-in microphone. So if you don't know what Shazam does, it is a music discovery app. So in if you don't know the artist or if you don't know the song that you hear, say you're in a car or you're walking down the street or you're at a club or something and you hear a song you like, but you don't know what it's called, you could you could open Shazam and it will analyze the song and it will give you the artist and and the name of the song so that you could listen to it on your own or in our cases load it into our DJ library and load it onto a deck. So now it, it uses the microphone in your phone or the microphone in the iPad to do this. So now this error is telling us that something is using our microphone and I've been trying to figure it out because I have nothing plugged into my iPad. My iPad is just sitting here. And so I messed around with the settings on the iPad. That didn't work. I realized we have to mess around with the settings inside DJ Pro AI. So we're going to go press the middle button here. We're going to go to our settings. And then we are going to go to audio device setup. And then we're going to go all the way down the microphone. And you see how it says none? All we simply have to do is press iPad microphone. There we go. And then now we are going to go back to the middle button, press Shazam, and now it's analyzing. So right now I have no song playing, so it's just going to analyze. It's not going to hear anything, and then it's going to give us a notification that it wasn't able to analyze. Try again. So now I'm going to play a song. I'm going to play Sandstorm by DeRode, uh, one of the most popular techno songs ever. So here we go. Try again. Just like that, Sandstorm, and we have it. So now you're going to have to be logged into a streaming service. So I use the streaming service title. So now it's going to load this song out in by using that streaming service. So pretty much any song that you hear, you'll be able to load up if you are if you have a subscription to title or even Beatport, BeatSource, or SoundCloud. So now you have an option. You could mix now or you could press match. So if you mix now... It loads it into a deck. So we're just going to eject that. And then if we, we're going to do it again. So there we go. We have Sandstorm. And then now we could match. Oh, it got, it got the wrong, it got the wrong version of the song. Hold on. There we go. Now I got the title version. If it if it detects a song that's only on different streaming services, it won't let you load. That one was for Apple Music. But here, so we have the song. So now it's in our DJ software through title. And then we press match. And now it gives us songs that would sound good and that you could play next, that you could play after this song. You have all the songs that would match the current song that we just discovered. And they do it based on the key, they do it based on the BPM, they do it based on the genre, and it uses uh, the technology in the app to find the best songs that will go with the song. So it gave us Better Off Alone by Alice DJ, and these are all really good. It gives us more songs by the same artist. So there we go. We have songs to mix to. So in what scenario would you want to be using this as a DJ? Well, I was thinking about this, and one is, let's say you're DJing at a club or a bar or something, and there's other DJs DJing. So you see a well, the DJ that's before you, you see him playing this song, you find out what it is by using the Shazam feature, and now you have it, 
and then you could go to matching songs. So say they played this song, you heard them, you shazammed it. Um, it's not a good idea to play the exact same song as another DJ. That might upset some of the other DJs. But if one type of song worked and we have a whole list of 20 matching songs with that, we could play a similar song that will that that has the same vibe and that's a matching song to that and then we can build upon that because if the audience liked that an hour ago they're probably gonna like similar stuff when you play it so it's kind of like a secret hack to not exactly steal music from other djs but to take some inspiration and then use what you heard from their set and then use it into your own set another thing is simply as music discovery. So I tell you guys to load to listen to the playlist from YouTube, listen to the playlist from Spotify, and then like the songs and then add it into your DJ playlist later on. So now what we can do is anywhere in the world that we have DJ Pro AI on our phone, let's say we're walking down the street or we're in someone's car or we're at a club, we're at a we're at an event and we don't know the song, we could go right into our DJ Pro app. And then we just, it's the same thing. We just hit Shazam and then we could load it into our music library and we could organize it into our DJ playlist and we could set our cue points, do all that. And it gives us a new secret weapon on finding new songs and music discovery. And as DJs, the most important thing to do is keep your libraries up to date and keep finding new songs and new ways how to load some new ways to add songs to your playlist so that your playlists are are fresh and they're new and you're not just playing the same thing over and over again. Especially if you do gigs, like if you play at a bar every Friday, you don't want to be playing the same exact songs every weekend. But what you could do with Shazam is now in our environment, out in the world, we can discover these new songs by a touch of the button within our actual DJ software, which is awesome. All right, so... uh quick recap on how to use shazam so we are going to go press the middle button really quick and then shazam is there we could press it that way or what we could do is we could go over here do a long press and then we have the option to have shazam right there so there's two ways how to do it and then now what we do is we press shazam we have a song playing boom right there we have the song and then we could load it up so i hope this helped you guys use this new awesome feature if you have any questions let me know in the comments down below and thanks for watching subscribe to the channel and give it a like